Hi everyone, this is Winnie and I'm from Spark. I'm going to teach you how to do a sample proposal review and walk through the steps of a review. So first and foremost, you're going to land on this page. If you don't know how to get here, you can find the information from a previous video. Okay, you're going to click on the review. There's going to be four sections to the proposal review. The first section is the proposal information. Second section is the review criteria. The third is a recommendation from you. And then fourth is some additional comments that you may have, okay? So let's start at the top. The proposal information is just all of the information that the author has inputted for the proposal. This will go through session type, topic, titles, learning outcomes, some session description, structure, comments, format, value, relevance, diversity, schedule, and logistics. Uh, all of these are inputted by the author and will require you to read them. The tags are not very important. You can skim through them, uh, but they more so help us uh, categorize and, and see what people are going to be interested in. Second is the review criteria. This should be a pretty quick section for you. Uh, the first is going to be core criteria. So these three questions, if it's a weak yes or maybe yes is still a yes, uh, whether or not the topic is relevant. Uh, whether or not the value to attendees is there, and whether or not the quality of the proposal is good. Uh, those are three very simple questions. If it's not relevant, if it's not of value to attendees, and if it's not of good quality, then you click no. If it's a maybe or a yet, weak yes, you still click yes. Then we go to extra consideration criteria. So for diversity, that means the proposal offers an especially strong evidence of contributing diverse programming and or supporting diverse voices. And for significance, that means the proposal offers an especially strong, innovative, and or timely alignment with a conference theme and or conference topics. Those, this uh, qualifies for extra consideration may be chosen, but note that if you choose not applicable, it does not mean that they don't meet the diversity criteria or the significance criteria. It just simply means they don't meet it for extra consideration. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go on to recommendation. This is where you're going to give your input about the proposal, what your overall recommendation is. Do you strongly recommend for acceptance? You recommend for acceptance, recommend for consideration, neutral, no recommendation, or recommend for rejection. What your reasoning is, is going to be about 500 characters uh, max, and you can give why you've chosen what you've chosen. And if you believe that they should have a different session type, you're going to click on recommended type and click on what session you believe they should fall under. Last section is going to be additional comments. So this section, we want to try to keep the comments as short as possible for it to be reasonable for us to read it. So just one good thing about the proposal, one question concern or way the proposal might be improved, and then any other comments for the program organizers and anything you want to relay to the author. We can't promise that it's going to go to the author, but we'll do our best to make it happen. Uh, and then last but not least, you can save or submit here. So saving will not submit the proposal. Uh, it will allow you to come back and edit and submit does the same thing. So once you submit it, you can edit it. But once it's submitted on September 14th, that proposal review is in the system and locked. You cannot edit it after September 14th, which is the deadline. So save and submit button essentially do the same thing, except for um, when you actually have to submit the proposal. And that's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you have any other questions, you can reach out to us. Thank you so much for reviewing the proposals.